here. Yeah, we, we just faced these guys Tuesday, you know, our district game, and um, came away with a victory in the varsity, and I believe JV lost. I got I got hung up at Crystal. Yeah. Had to Couldn't go all the way to Corinth to get yeah. your Crystal Burgers. Great news about today is, is I've already got my food delivered, guys. Hey, what hey, about y'all? Delivered. And delivered. And delivered. This is called lunch and supper. Well. I am hungry. I bet. Who we got on the mound? We've got number 28, Paxton Searle. Lots of Searle mound. out there. Yeah. Got a haircut. Well, I don't know about that. He's, he's, uh. Yeah, he got it cut off. You can tell. Still not enough to keep that hat on his head, though. No, that's right. <laughs> it's like his Uncle Kelby and all that hair he's got. None of the Searles have much hair, do y'all? No. No. Short hair guys. So Paxton's pitching. I don't have any stats for JB, so we're hemmed up there. How was your day, Mr. Allen? It was good. I uh, had a busy day. We had the uh, the softball team come out to the to the church this afternoon and fed them on their way to Lake Cormorant. What did y'all give them? We What'd gave them, we fed them uh, chicken strips and baked potatoes Ooh, boy. and salad. Some ranch dressing with yeah. some honey mustard, maybe that's, barbecue. That's right. That's what I'm talking about. You ever mixed all three of those sauces together? I have not. I don't it's think amazing. I'd like to try it. No. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. Y'all try Looking around the rest of the infield, we've got uh, Nelson Downs playing catcher, Heston Hatcher at third, Tanner Fowler at short, uh, Harper Newcomb at second, Lane Gillen at first, and then out going through the outfield, we've got Carson Renfro in right, Eli Housel in center, and Bryson Arbuckle in left. So that rounds out the, the field for our starting lineup. Yep. So it's a it's an overcast day, but it's a nice day. It's yeah. like weather like San Diego. It was kind of chilly this morning, yeah. and then it warmed up. Man, I, I wish it stayed like this year round. That'd be nice. Fortunately, it's going to be 175 degrees in two weeks. Here we go. There's our lineups. Lineups. Lineup. <laughs> so the batting order is Newcomb, Fowler, Searle, Gillen, Housel, Renfro, Patton, Downs, Hatcher, and Arbuckle. Yeah, so. Good googly moogly have they done this time. Second base, shortstop. Uh oh, the boss is calling. Yeah, he gets put on. He can put him on the hold. Let's see here. All right, so it looks like Searles done with his warm ups and little downs to throw it down. And here comes the first batter for the inning, number 18. Don't have their lineup card in front of me. No, nope, we're going to have to wing it. Oh, oh, there it is. I do have it in front of me. I lied. Number 18, Cooper Childs up to the plate. Childs was a pinch runner the other night, I believe. I believe so in the varsity game. Yeah. Strike one. Nice way to start it off. There we go. Get ahead. Get ahead, stay ahead. Yep. So here we are on top of the first. Wind's blowing. It looks like it's blowing in, or I imagine uh, it's blowing, blowing out. out. It's blowing out dead center. That strike looked, two. Uh, yeah. That looked a little bit inside, but yeah. we'll take the strike. It's a lenient strike zone. Ah, somebody's over my shoulder taking pictures. That's nerve-wracking. All right, Searle ahead. 0-2 count, no outs. Top of the first. Strike three. Got yeah, him looking. Yeah, him up. Good call. Looked a little low to me, but, hey, we'll, like again, we'll take that strike. No, sir, no such thing. Next up, we got number 16, Levin Darcy. Up to the plate. Saltilla's wearing black tops with uh, gray pants and blue helmets. Chargers wearing red tops with the blue and white trim and white pants. Whoa, high and inside. Got away from him a little bit. It happens. That'll bring to the plate. Number 29, Jacob Gore. If I had to guess, I bet he's playing first. Yep. What what number is he? 29. Jacob Gore. Low and inside. No, that's strike. Oh, well, yeah. yeah, he called it. Strike zone is expanded. Yeah. He's wanting this one to fly by. Yeah. Gore's a lefty. Stout, stout young man. And a runner on first, Earl does. Looks him back, comes inside, and that's fouled out of play down the right field line. It's going to hit the batting cages. 
That foul ball out of play brought to you by 2020 iWorks. I need to get my eyes fixed a little bit. Yep, got my glasses on. I may have to go visit them because these are about three or four years old. So we got 0-2 count again, one out. Pick off. Searle struck the first batter out looking, then he, I believe on the first pitch, hit the next batter. Got to be careful with that. All right. Yeah, you can't give, give them runners on base. Nah, you can't. Searle checks. Here comes the oh. – look like some type of off speed. He's going to ground it to first. Gillen. Good play. Was looking around for somebody to help him and well, decided just to jog over and take it himself. I think he was looking a second to see if he might have a play at the yeah. double play, but it was just too slow of a roller to get there, and so he made the play at first. Yep. Good play. Two outs. Two outs. Brings up number 10, Easton Reynolds. Another lefty. All right. So we've got a runner on second here in the top of the first, and that ball's going to be low. Maybe the first ball of the game. Yeah, other than the – Hit, hit yeah, the batter. Searle stayed ahead. So far, it's early. Look at that face paint he's got on. Yeah, I'm telling you. Looks like a medieval warrior out there. That's low. I mean, that's fouled off to the left. That ball out of play is by Jillix. We appreciate them. Go pick up some equipment needs over there at a Jillix. They got a lot of cool stuff in there. If you like Milwaukee tools, they've got oh, yeah. they've got what you need. Searle looks the runner back at second. Comes up with a high fastball, swing and miss by two. Reynolds. Yeah. Got a one-two count. He's doing a good job staying yeah. ahead of him. There's a yep, one-two. There we yep, go. Yep, one-two. Our it's scorekeeper kinda... down here is, is trying to get everything situated. All right. Runner on second. Searle comes set. Delivers. That's oh, grounded nice. right back up the middle. I don't think middle. Newcomb's going to get there. That's going to score, score a run. One. Whoa, oh, he's Housel. by the center fielder, Housel. Oh, and the big guys, he's oh. going to try it out. Oh, get there. He's safe. Mm. Got under it. Man, I thought he was dead in the water. Yeah, Housel may have should have just gone straight to second with that one instead of the cutoff, man. I don't know if he realized he was going. Yeah, he may not have. Heads up base running because he looked like he was going to be out. Yep. They had him dead to rights, just didn't get the ball in in time. Good piece of hitting with one two count. Took it right back up the middle. Yep. Newcomb tried to get there, couldn't get there. I didn't catch this player's number as he came up. We'll see what Give us some help down there, Mr. Kevin. What number was this guy? What, what? number was he? Uh, Fouché. Fouché. Oh, Boucher. Twenty five. Water boy. No. Twenty five. Boucher. Jaden Fouché. 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 That's a creative. That's not right. Y'all quit that. Fouché. What do you think that is? That, Probably uh, French Cajun, if I had to guess. That's right. He's a righty. He's all speed pitch. Man, Searle's getting ahead. Yeah, Searle's way ahead, too, in 0-2 oh, oh count. It's like a young Kelby Searle out there. Matt, the Kelby pitch. He did? He did. Thought so. He looks like a pitcher. You look like a catcher. Mm-mm. So, Saltilla has played at one here in the top of the first of this junior varsity game. Paxton Searles, the pitcher, got him a new haircut. Turns to second. Looks like he could be in a, the Braveheart movie with that face paint. <laughs> That's the going yeah, thing. It seems it like is, they all it? got it. Oh, oh, he comes inside and clips another one. Hate to see that, O2. Yeah. That'll bring up number 12, Will Goodson for the Tigers. Tom Glavin. For the the, the old Tom Glavin move. There's two outs, though. You didn't need the Tom Glavin move there. My spelling's leaving me. I wish I had some type of spell check with writing. With a, with a pencil? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cyril comes set, glances at second. He looks back at home. He's got his signs. His third look. That's right. swinging a miss. Good pitch down in the, down in the way. This is the third lefty coming up to the plate. They got a lot of lefties on I the do. team. All oh, these kids are um, kind of upperclassmen in their JV. Y'all told me that the other night. Yeah. Yep. It's a sign of a good program. Well, they've got a full freshman team, and then they've got a JV team, and then a varsity team. Okay. So. There we go. 1-1 one, one count, two outs. Runners on first and second. Saltilla's already scored one here in the top of the first. 
Searle's getting his sign, nonverbal communication from shortstop. Uh, is that Tanner Fowler? That is Tanner That's Fowler. That's Tanner. Yep. yep. Comes set. Delivers. And that ball Ooh. stroked down the right field line. That's going to be some problems. Renfro's giving chase. It's going to get all the way to the wall. It'll be a triple. Looks like it's going to be a triple. Yeah, they're waving him. Yeah, he's got it. Oh, don't oh, throw it away. away. Where was the left fielder? That's good hustle right there. Who's that left fielder? Bryson Arbuckle. That'll wait, Bryson. Oh, he turned on that. So two runs are going to score on that line drive. Oh, they called him out at second. They said he missed second base. Whoa, man. Made the, and went back and tagged back, uh, second and called him out. Well, you don't see that every day. You don't see that every day at all, but he's he's not happy about it. But, hey, it uh, coach is questioning. I don't think he's going to get an appeal on that, though. Yeah, no real junior varsity game. I'm sure umpire saw what was going on. I did not see it. Did you see it, Alan? I, I did not. I was watching the ball in the corner. Aha. That's where my eyes were. Well, one of us has to be paying attention to the runner then. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was watching Carson was hustling, trying to get to that ball, and, and they did a good relay getting it in. Then yeah. the second throw, they hit their cutoff, and the second throw was high, and then left fielder did get a job of backing it up. All right, so we're going to take a moment and go to hear a word from our sponsor. Back to live action here. Brings up number 29, Harper Newcomb, second baseman, will lead us off. Newcomb's been playing a good second base. Sorry, he's going to ground the first pitch down to third. Third baseman comes up slinging. Got him at first. Not a bad idea to go after the first pitch of the game. Yeah, go after it. If you see something you like, go ahead and swing and get to it. That's right. They'll bring up uh, number 18, Tanner Fowler, playing shortstop. Did we say the pitcher is a, is a Reynolds? It's Reynolds. Easton. Yeah. Easton Reynolds. Right. Easton Reynolds. Yeah. Yep. Big right hander. Could be related, or you know, to the coach. I think his name's Eric Reynolds. That's right. Maybe his son. Maybe nephew. Who knows? Probably son. I think. Kind of sure. look alike, don't they? They do. Oh, Another he turns one third, on that one. Foul ball. All right, Mr. Reynolds has gotten ahead. O two on Fowler. We're in the. Bottom of the first, Saltilla played it three. The top half to end. They got a 3-0 lead. Mr. Allen's over there playing with the camera. There we go. Sets, delivers, and that ball oh, had some man. movement on it. Tanner fell down, swinging. swinging. He's going to get down if he there. If he hustle, he'll get yep, down he's there. He's going to get down there. Oh, oh. throw it out. No, that was a weird at bat. Yeah, he was all over himself on that one. Got Popped up quick, though, and took he, off. That's right. Brings up number 28, the pitcher, Paxton Searle. See if he can help himself out here a little bit and drive the runner around. First base runner of the day here in the bottom of the first for the your home team, the Chargers. Foul off. Damn. That bounced all over the place. Yep. 
bounced to our right, and somehow got behind the net. Yeah, it hit, I heard it hit a pole and came outside. So once it went out of play, that brings up our uh, foul ball sponsor, Armstrong Auto Parts. We appreciate them. Go by and see Chris Armstrong for if you need to work on your car. All right. 0-1 count, one out here. Fowler's on first, reached off after the wild pitch on the strikeout. Comes set, and that's outside. Oh, you kicking that dirt out there. Reynolds is your pitcher. Sets, delivers. There goes the runner. That was a good pitch to steal on. Yeah. He's in there. Bad throw by the catcher. Doesn't no. get him. Got a pretty good jump. Fowler looked pretty fast right there. Just picking it up, putting them down. Yeah, on that on that stolen base, brought to you by uh, Wade Incorporated, your local John Deere dealer. Nothing runs like a deer. So we got a 2-1 count, one out. That's outside. Going to 3-1. Hitters count. He's going to make it his pitch here. Fowler's at second after stolen base. Reynolds delivers. Oh. And there's a strike. Full count. Searle's number 28. Reynolds sets. Delivers. Ooh, it's a breaking ball that's high. Went ahead hunting on that one. Yep. All right, so your Chargers got two on now. Brings up number 23, Lane Gillen, first baseman. Lane uh, got his first start of the season last tu- or this past Tuesday and uh, played pre- really well for his first time back in the lineup. And so got a courtesy runner for Searle coming in. This is number 21, Arbuckle. Let's see what Lane can do right here. It's a good number, 23. Yeah. Reynolds g- glances a second twice, sets and delivers. That's inside. Inside and right below his hands. Bottom of the first. Chargers got runners on first and second with one out. Gillen's the batter, and that's right yeah, down the middle. He lines that yeah. ball. Oh, yeah. That'll bring in it's one for sure. one. They're going to hold the runner up at second. Good job. Good piece of hitting there that by Lane. was. Boy, he, he just won. He, he smacked that back up the middle quick. So, Fowler scores. Gillen's going to get an RBI. Searle's going to move up to second. Gillen's on first. We've got 22 Hazel, the center fielder up. Got some interesting walk-up music. Yeah. Felt like I was over at China Buffet for a second. <laughs> I was noticing the difference between yeah. their walk-up music Tuesday night and our walk-up yeah. music. Completely different genre of music. Yeah. It's kind of soothing, that music. That one was, yeah. yeah. With the heart playing, that ball's popped up high. May get out of play, hopefully. Catcher gives chase. Third baseman gives chase, and it hits right over by the edge of the dugout. I think if Carson had not moved, I'd have plunked him right in the head. Yeah. Wouldn't have hurt him. Probably not. That's what he's got that helmet on for. He's got a helmet on. Yeah. But it took him forever to decide to get out of the way. So Reynolds gets a gets ahead with that foul ball. 0-1, one out. Charges scored answered back, scored one here in the bottom of the first. Runners at first and second again. Sets delivers. Housel kind of put the bat out there. Like he's gonna show bunt. Yep. Like he's gonna drag it down that third baseline, pull it back. Coach Cox is down there on third giving the signals. There oh, we that's go. What he does. It's a good bunt. Oh, it's going to be foul. It's a good idea. Yep. I think if it stays fair, everybody's safe. I think so because I don't think he makes a play on that. All right. Going to have to fight back here. He's down 1 2. Or behind one two with the count. Reynolds is a Tigers pitcher. He sets and delivers. Boy, he slaps it foul. That, we got a foul ball out of play. Brought to you by Custom Concepts. You need some Charger gear? 
go check them out. They got plenty of it. Yep, got some good gear over there, Mr. Collins. Need a lot of battle right here. Yep. Put one in play. There's a pitch. Ooh. That's outside. Breaking ball. Can't do anything with that one. He'd had to use an oar to hit that ball. It's yeah. outside. Been waiting a while to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Held on to that one all year. Yeah. You? Ooh. Man, that's outside. Oh, golly. oh man. Mm. Not close. Nope. But in his defense, he's been calling it. Yeah, he's, his strike zone is uh, extra, extra wide. It's going to bring up Renfro. What number is Carson? 32. 32. Carson's playing right. Mm. Uh, late call there on that strike. Still got runners on first and second. Got two outs now, 3-1 score. Reynolds is set and delivers. Ren uh, Renfro turns on one, hits a lazy fly ball out to left. Left footer jogs back, makes the play. Yeah, had a lot threatening there, but just weren't able to do a lot with it. Got one out of it. Chargers lead, I mean, lead, trail three to one at the bottom of the second. Bottom of the first, I can't talk. So we're going to go hear a word from our sponsor while I try to get my tongue together. Coming back to live action, uh, your Chargers trail going into the top of the second, three to one. Paxson Searle still on the mound. This chip finishes his fries. Love eating in, bet in between the innings. Yep. Those French fries, some kind of good. If you're here or you're coming later, make sure you get in that concession stand and get you some of these French fries. Uh, yep. Well, the burgers aren't bad. Sausage dogs aren't bad. No, nah, it's all good. I even had the barbecue nachos, which I'm not yeah. a big fa fan of. and They were quite tasty. Yep. I ate a whole thing, a whole helping of them by myself. We've got a good gr uh, group of parents that help out down there and cooking and serving and doing things. We th thank all of them. Leading off this inning to number 20. Yep, it's going to be Glidewell. Carson Glidewell. Let's see how well he can glide down. That's right. He's a lefty. They keep trotting up lefties. Nice pitch. Had him out ahead. Well, I tell you what, uh, Searles, we'll keep saying this, he's getting ahead of these guys. Yep. He's throwing some strikes. Now, he likes to hit people, too. He's hit two in the first. <laughs> Reminded me of his daddy getting mad. Well, the, the second one that he hit wasn't really that nah, bad. No, it wasn't. It was, he just clipped his jersey. Yeah. That's kind of, if I was batting, that's the one I wouldn't be bothered with. The yep. first one hit in the back, <laughs> small of the back, neck. Yep. All right, he sets, delivers, 1-1 one, one count. That's grounded weakly to second. Newcomb comes up. Oh, oh he's off his hands. Ooh. Mm. It almost took the, a perfect hop to him. He just lost sight of it, I guess. It happens. Yep. Brings up number 32, Corbin Sheffield. No, any relation to Gary? Uh, probably not. No. Uh, he was a righty, though. He Sheffield was, was a righty. Was a Remember righty. his stance yeah, with the bat? Yeah, the bat all the way. Yeah. Yep. He was a, a good player for a long time in the major leagues. Yep. Well, Gary Sheffield. I hadn't heard that name in a long time. Yep. All right, so Glidewell's at first. The other night, Saltilla liked to steal bases. Maybe going, Searle glances at him. There you go. Gave him a strike. That's what I'm talking about. One and one. Is today Thursday? Today is Thursday. 
Man, that's awesome. One more day in this one week. One more day, that's right. Glidewell's leaning. And there's a ground ball yeah. to short. Let's see if we can get two out of this. Maybe not been hit hard enough. Harper's going to turn it. Got him. Got him. Turn two there. Nice. Pitcher's best friend. Go from no outs to two outs just like that. Six, four, three, double play. Bring, brings up number nine, Cody Carnathan. That ball wasn't hit very hard. That was a good turn by yeah. the middle infielders, yep. uh, Fowler and, and Newcomb. Newcomb made up for that error. That's said, right. I'm going to get you on this double yep. play. Well, that's what you got to do. You got to put right. the last one out of your mind, go to the next one, and move on. Pitch is up. It's number nine. Carnathan. Carnathan. Uh-oh. I'm going to bet he's related to Kevin. Uh -huh. I know he's got people over there. Yep. Yeah, his Shannon, nephew? Yep, Shannon was saying this is Kevin's nephew. There we go. He doesn't have the blonde hair like all of Carnison's kids. No. Nope. Mr. Kevin. They, they get that from their mama, though. Get it from the mama? Yep. yep. I don't guess Kevin has blonde hair either, does he? No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> one one count, two outs. Double play. Cleared the bases for the Chargers, and Carnison's going to file that off to the right. That foul ball out of play is brought to you by Dent Turner, air condition. Get them air conditioners ready. Oh, yeah. It's time to service them up. Yes, sir. One, two count. I need to call the guy about mine. Who now? Get him, get him to come out there and look at it. Need to call Mr. Dent. Yep. Strike three. Strike three. Rung him and up. looking. All right. Better inning for us there in that inning. A lot of better plays. So at the, the top of the second, Chargers trail three to one. Coming back up to the plate. See if we can't uh, bring us back. We'll go to our sponsors and hear a word from them. At Farm Bureau Insurance, local agents like me are on a mission. It's our duty to offer you the right insurance so you can protect what's important to you. I enjoy using my time and insurance expertise to help folks in the Grenada community. It's just what I do. I'm George Chandler. Give me a call at 662-414-0541 for a quick home and auto or life insurance quote. And to learn more about Farm Bureau Insurance so you can save money and time. Go Chargers. Parents and students are just shocked when they find out with a 20 on your ACT, you could go to Home CC for free. Do you have a 20 on your ACT? Why, yes. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on a sec. You're right. I am shocked. You're saying my tuition could be free? <laughs> yes. And your household income does not matter. Why in the world would Holmes Community College offer free tuition with a 20 on the ACT? See, we don't want you drowning in college debt when you graduate. In fact, all of us here at Holmes are so committed to our students' success, we've kept our tuition, well, lower than every other state community college. And even though parents and students are shocked by it and have a hard time believing it, just remember, your tuition could be free with a 20 on your ACT at Holmes CC. Sounds to me like there's no place like Holmes. That's Holmes Community College. All right, we're back to live action here at Charger Field. Got uh, Chargers trailing three to one. See if we can't chip away at it or pull back ahead right here. So I got the same pitcher on the mound for Saltillo. And we got coming up this inning, we've got Keaton Patton, Nelson Downs, and Heston Hatcher. Yeah, uh, Patton's the DH. He's been throwing the ball really well. I talked to his daddy earlier. Something burning? I can't. I don't know if it's. Something burning or a cigarette or that's an odd smell. Yeah, something burning. Yeah, something. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's not a good fire escape out of here. Winda. <laughs> Winda. <laughs> Jump to the net over there. Yeah. Spider Man it down. Oh goodness. All right, so that's going to bring up the D.H. Keaton Patton. He's a lefty, number 26. We're going to have Downs is on deck. He's a catcher, and then we got Heston Hatcher, the third baseman. Ball down and away. Ball one. See if we can get this lead off guy aboard. There we go. And that pitch is oh, up. I didn't Check mean to, swing, and that's going to fall in. It's going to be a fair, fair ball. ball. Look out! Wow. <laughs> Way to go, Keaton. Boy, he just smoked that one down the left field line. <laughs> a little Texas leaguer going through there. That's right. That is a hit. 
That That's is a hit. An error. That is a hit. Got it right here. Single. Yep. Single, single, single. It's going to bring up Preston. No. no it's going to bring up Nelson. Nelson. Preston, Nelson. Both have six letters. Don't they? Maybe one of them's got seven. Not a good counter today. That's going to be outside. All right, Nelson. Help Mr. Keaton out. Patton's got a small lead over on first. Reynolds glances at Oh, he grounds it weakly to the pitcher. Oh, man. Oh, I think he had Good him job. Second. Whoa, stay on that base. Get back. Made his turn. Yeah. Sit down. Papa Bear down here saying, get on the back. Yep. He's right. <laughs> He's made his turn, but the throw was behind him. I don't think he realized the throw was going to come in behind him. Yeah. Smart play by the first baseman over there. I believe that's Mr. Gore. Yep. Brings up Heston Hatcher to the plate. See if he can't drive him on around. We got one out. Yeah, Hatcher's your third baseman. You know, good job this year, and that's going to be a strike, an outside strike, but it's a strike. 25. Hatcher's number. Catcher setting up outside. I'd go out there again. Hatcher swings and misses. I need to get that runner on second home. Cut into this 3-1 lead that the Tigers got in the first. Reynolds is set. Delivers. That's a breaking ball. It's going to get to the backstop. And yeah. old Keaton. Got a stolen base on the pass ball. Yeah. Stolen base brought to you by Wade Incorporated, your local John Deere dealer. Nothing runs like a deer. So Hatcher took the last pitch. Wild pitch advances. Ooh, who is that? Nelson. There you go. Clubs it out towards the pitcher. It looks patting back. Those over the first. All right. So that's two ground outs to the pitcher in this inning. It's not going to get you far. It's going to bring up number 21, Bryson Arbuckle. That's inside. Yep. What you call that a strike? <laughs> Reynolds is set. Delivers. That's a strike. Foul ball out of plate. Brought to you by Grenada Home Center. New location. Formerly Olus's Paint and Supply. Now Grenada Home Center. Go check them out. Saw it the other day. Yeah. Oh, they are getting me something to eat at Jack's, the new restaurant yeah. in town. And I uh, looked over to my right, and there it was. There it was. All right. How, well, how'd you like Jack's? I like Jack's. I like Jack's, too. Name my kid Jack after Jack's. Oh, Ah, oh, swings go. and misses. Mm. That wasn't a pitch you want to swing at. No, you want to battle right there, but that's not one you battle at. So, nope. at, after two, Chargers still trail three to one. And so, we'll go to another couple of words from our sponsors. You might see me at a Grenada High sporting event. We might cross paths at the grocery store or the next benefit. I'm your local Farm Bureau insurance agent, your local expert when it comes to protecting what you love and depend on. I'm Marianne Bale. Call me at 662-226-4931 for a quick auto, home, or life insurance quote and to learn more about how Farm Bureau insurance can save you time and money. That's Marianne Bale at 662-226-4931. We're back to live action here at Charger Field. Still got Paxson Searle on the mound. Pitched a, a nice second inning after giving up three runs in the first. And so he'll continue his warm-up tosses to throw down to second by downs, and we're ready to play. That brings up the batter, number 28, uh, Jace P. So... Heath. P. Number 28, Heath. P. P-E-A. Or P-E-E. P. P. 
All right, lines one to the short. Fowler backhands it, slings it over. Yeah, that's a good, good play. play right there. P. Okay. All right, that's a great play by Fowler. Yep. Went to his left and backhanded it, and slung it across there and got him. Now that brings up number 34, Cooper McGee. Wow, we had P, and now we got McGee. Yep. I believe this may be back to the top of the lineup. One of my favorite play. Cardinal players of all time, Willie Cup McGee. Jones. There we go. E.T., that's what they used to call him. Ball one yep. inside. Did you know that he was traded from the Yankees to the Cardinals? He was a weird-looking dude. Had a long neck. Mm -hmm. Could play some baseball, though. Yep. They used to have some cats that could run back then. They had him and Vince Coleman. And, right. You know, I mean, you know, Ozzie Smith, when he was younger, could move. Tommy Hurt, second. Man, I love the Cardinals. <laughs> All right, Searle set, 2-0. He's finally falling behind the hitter. It's taking him three innings. And he's 3-0. He'll relax and throw him a strike right here. Top of the third, 3-1 Tigers. The visiting Tigers lead. Searle comes set. There we go. I knew it. Yep. All right, McGee's your hitter. Nobody's on. A great play by Fowler, the leadoff guy, P. Searle set. There we go. Uh, Newcomb's trying to get there. He's going, nah, he's going to get through. Yeah. Thought he may give us a dive, but I don't think he could have got that. No, I don't think so. He Newcomb. was playing too close to first. Yep. Just shot it back up the middle. So McGee lines the single right back up the middle. Good piece of hitting. 3-1 count. Uh-oh. Uh, we got number 33 coming to the plate. No name listed on the roster, so we'll just say number 33. Well, we could go in rhyming order, P, McGee, and Tree. Or Lee. Lee, there hey. you go. Look at there. Could be one of your cousins. Yeah. All right, that's a strike. All right, so the McGee is at first. Searle's still pitching. He's working fast. Nods that head down. Goes outside. That's going to even up the count. One and one. One out. The lights have been cut on. Boy, that wind looks like it's whipping. Yeah, it does. This flag, this flag over here by yep. us. I think if I got one up in the – going out the center, I'd get it out of here. What do you think? Oh, and snap throw to first. Nope. Nope. No chance. Good idea. Yeah. Keep him honest over there. Could you get one out here if you got it up? Oh, uh, no. I, oh, with I, these bats they use nowadays? Uh, they used, you have to use that Easton bat with the green. Yeah. It said Easton that everybody wanted. They I can't that, remember what they, they named they've it. They've said that that had more power than these do. No. Yeah. That those, bat cost $8. Th those were killing kids. That's why they had to start <laughs> changing. Killing people. Yeah. It's, All right. Gets a strike In out In the there. midst of that conversation, Sterl strikes out number 33. Back to the top of the lineup, Cooper Childs. 18. Is it 18, 15? What is it? 18. 18. Right to the top. Cooper Childs. Two outs, runner on first. May see some action out of the runner on first. Two outs. That ball's outside. Batter gets the sign. Runner gets the sign. Searle toes the rubber. Looks over at first. Comes set. Delivers. That's a strike. strike That's right. Two. Heston at third. Comes Steps. up throwing. Got him. Got him. Good play. Got him by a step. Cyril gets out of that one. No trouble. Three up, uh, Four up, three down. So we go to the bottom of the third as we listen to a couple of words from our sponsors. Hey there, this is Kevin Jackson with Landmark Realty, your hometown friends in real estate. Are you looking to purchase your first home or maybe just your move up home? Or maybe you're looking to even sell a home? Well, we've got you covered. Our dedicated team is here to make your real estate journey smooth and stress-free. 
From charming starter homes to move up homes or even selling your home, we have it all. And here's the kicker. If you scan the barcode now, you'll get our exclusive buyer profile system absolutely free. Your dream home is just one click away. Landmark Realty, where dreams become home. All right, we're back to live action. Chip's still fussing down here because he hadn't had a chance to eat all of his hamburger yet. Four innings. <laughs> it's been four innings. He hadn't been able to eat a, a whole hamburger and, and fries yet. But we're back to live action. Chargers trail three to one. See if we can't chip away back at it. Back at the top of the order brings up Harper Newcomb. Yeah, we had a threat last inning. Couldn't get him home. Downs got the second. Got the third? You get yeah. the second. Got the third on the pass ball, maybe yeah. something. Yeah, okay. pass ball. All right, Newcomb's up. Oh, he turns on that ball and hits it right, right at him. Right at him. Oh, that's why I don't like baseball sometimes. <laughs> it's a hit good it, hit. Hit it on the screws and, and you still get out. Yep. Well, Harper's batted twice and seen two pitches. He's going after the first pitch. Well, the thing is, if you uh, if you strike out every time, that's not good. You can put the ball in play every time. At some at some point, it's going to drop. Oh yeah, the baseball gods will yep uh, turn in your favor. Yep. All right, that's bringing up Fowler. Made a great play. Uh, I believe it was two innings ago. That's a good breaking ball, but it's high. high. It's got some snap to it. Reynolds is still the pitcher. That's going to be. Low, okay. Hmm. Two zero count. Hey, chops it weakly to third. Third baseman comes in, slings it across the diamond. Safe. Oh, we got. Uh, they came off the bag. I don't know. Field umpire called him out, but home plate umpire called him safe, and they're going to call him safe. Nobody's arguing. No. All right, that's going to have to be an error on the first baseman, I'm guessing, or the throwing error. Uh, I don't know. Uh, where's my? Where's the guy at? There he is. He didn't, oh, didn't see it. Oh, my we Lord. Were, Here we go. Couldn't see it. Yeah. So, we'll say. Ball I'm, outside. I'm going to say E3. So, Reynolds misses the strike zone on the first pitch. Searles the batter. Walked in the first. I mean, I would stay on that outside corner if he's going to call that a strike. I'd stay on that. Uh, that's not a corner. That's actually the box, yeah, the that's, batter's that's box. The other batter's box. Keep hitting those lines. Yep. You got to toe the line on, on your batter's box to get to yep. that one. There you go. That's inside. Out of play. That foul ball brought to you by Grenada Star. Ball almost landed on us, Mr. Lee. Yeah. Good thing we got this roof over. We didn't have a roof. We could have been in trouble. Got a one-two count, one out, bottom of the third. Fowler's on first, reached in the first also. He had a stolen base. He's moving, not going. That ball is hit oh. weakly. And then field shortstop comes in, makes the play. That's going to bring up. Gillen? Mr. Yeah, what am I doing? I'm writing that on. I, I just said Mr. Gillen flat out the short. That's oh. not right. No, that's not right. Gillen had a rocket in the first to center field, to right center. An RBI to that gig. That's Ooh. inside. Uh-oh. Look out, Terry. Chin music. Uh. Reynolds is still out there pitching. That ball's hey. high. Gillen, what a good Went, job of hitting. the other way with it. Yep. Slow up there at second, big guy. Nice job of hitting. Yeah. Where's Lane been? Has he been hurt or something? He's, he's been hurt. He's had a, a groin injury, hamstring injury that just wouldn't go away That's for a while. That's the kid that hit me in the head in the batting cages, I think. Oh. Yeah. yeah. On his backswing, I was walking through the batting <laughs> cages. He hit me in the head with the bat. Oh, man. Had been the same since. Well, that explains a lot. Yep. Brings up number 22, center fielder Eli Housel. You been hitting the head with a bat? I have not. With no, like he used to have catcher's gear. On yeah, him. yeah. All right, got runners on first and second again. Housel's your batter. Housel struck out last time on a 
seven to eight inch outside fastball. It was nowhere near the strike zone. Set. Items down the middle. He's behind 0 2. Foul ball out of play, brought to you by High Cotton Catering. Fine food. They they catered the Grenada Middle School Christmas party. I loved it. Yep, yep. they've done that for oh. several years. I've had an yep. opportunity to go to that one. Ah, he swings and Strikes misses. Out. Well, that wraps up the bottom of the third. Chargers still trail three to one. We'll hear from another word from our sponsors. There are times in life when we find ourselves in need, when we call upon the help of our closest friends and family. As your local Farm Bureau insurance agent, I want to be on that list. I'm from right here in Grenada, Mississippi, and I'm here to help you and your family. I'm Robert Carolla. Call me at 662-226-4931 for a quick auto, home, or life insurance quote and to learn more about how Farm Bureau insurance can save you time and money. Go Chargers! All right, we're back to live action here. Paxson Searle stays on the mound. He's looked good the last couple of innings, gave up three in the first, and uh, has looked really well since then. Defense has played well behind him, and so the Chargers look to shut him down here again in the fourth and try to go back in. Trying to see who we got coming up. Got a lot of folks in the press box this evening. Big guy. The big guy's back. Yeah. yeah. Everything good? Do you want to interview Coach Fair? Yeah, you can. You want to do this for a yeah. second? Right now. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're, you're the color guy now. I'm going to do the play-by-play. Okay. <laughs> it's not big enough to get on his head. Oh, this is awesome. Inside out. That's all I wanted. Inside out. <laughs> Coach Fair, how you doing? I'm great. Are we live? We are live. Watch. All right. Yeah, you ain't worried about any of that. All right, so that's an inside strike. Paxton Searle still pitching. Tell us about how football is going in the offseason. Football is just going tremendously. Kids are working hard. Great group of young men. There's a strike. Coach. There you go. Yeah. It's good seats up here, man. I'll that's come in nice. here more often. There you go. It's really nice when it gets cold outside. <laughs> I bet. Searle's ahead 0-2 here in the top of the fourth. Chargers behind 3-1 to one after uh, Searle gave up three in the top of the first. So what have y'all been doing? I saw you on the field the other day. Yeah, we're it's you know it's a combination of field work and weights, and we're trying to get as strong as we can this time of year. But we also want to be able to move. You know, I think yeah. that's a huge part of it. I saw the what I saw that was impressive is is you're creating competition competition amongst the kids in the yeah. drills. Yeah, we try to add that in just about every aspect of what we're doing, and I just think that carries over. You know, it's really vitally important. Yeah, if you don't have to compete to get something. At some point, you'll lose it. You'll lose it. Right. You'll lose it. You can't just turn that on come August. No, nope. 2-2 two, two count. There's a fly ball hit out in the gap. Housel's giving chase. Number 16's going in there. Let's see this arm. Whoa, look out. He's safe. Hey, I know this umpire here, I think. Brock Merritt. Yeah. Yeah, he's got some Carroll County ties. I know him. Yeah, you probably know everybody in Carroll County. Well, I know most of them. <laughs> and related to half. No, not related to any of them. <laughs> It's not true. No, I'm not kin to nobody. <laughs> that way we can talk about him and I don't feel bad about it. Mr. This is number 10, Mr. Hey, Reynolds. I oh, like this, this batter right here. He looks like a pulling guard, doesn't he? He could have his hand down for us, it looks like. That's right. Oh, yeah. Good looking Sweet kid. Swing, yeah. Lefty. Yep. It reminds me of when I played baseball. Oh, here we go. Baseball. Tell me about you hitting foul balls and taking out windshields. Well, look, I'm just saying right now, if I played baseball on this field, Sherwin-Williams would have to change their front <laughs> windows often. <laughs> uh, one of Greenwood's finest. You people from Greenwood, that, that is where you played, well, right? Well, Greenwood Exchange Club built this, you know, machine in baseball. <laughs> you and Tyndall. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's right. Tend like they're throwing curveballs. That's right. Oh, man. I'm going to leave it at that. All right, we got a 1-1 count. There's no outs. There's a runner on second. Leadoff hitter hit a screamer out to the right center gap. It's Dorsey. This is number 29, Gore, the first baseman. Gore, he looks like the first baseman. He's good. Good Good-looking kid. Mr. Lee automatically said that's that's going to be their first baseman. Yeah. Maybe don't have to be quite as mobile over there. Just more cat-like with reflexes. That's That's the main thing, you know. He looks athletic. Oh, he you is, see, yeah. you look at his ankles. He doesn't have big old, you know, usually yeah. if you got small ankles, you can move. Yeah, I saw him turn on that first pitch, and, you know, it's, uh, he's got some twitch about him. Yeah. What do we call that, fast twitch? It's kind of That's twitchy. What, yeah. yeah, twitchy. Twitchy. That's athletic Be stuff. Be careful. Hey, what about this uh, wind blowing out? Are we expecting some stuff tonight? So yeah, I suppose that's why we moved this game up. I think after midnight, the weather's supposed to turn on us. Our weatherman's to your right. He he watches okay. the weather constantly. Yeah. I mean, at all times, he's got that app rolling. What about, uh, I mean, it's blowing straight out. Are we expecting some long balls tonight, we think? I, I don't know if I've ever seen a home run hit out over center here. I'm being I heard, honest. I heard we're throwing clink. I, oh, oh, that see, ball there just you go. got I told That's going to get over, get past Renfro and Wright, and he's giving chase. And look at the big look guy go, run. Coach. Send him, send him, send him. <laughs> oh, Here he goes. <laughs> Here he goes. It's going to be tight. <laughs> oh, he came out of gas, didn't he? The only reason it was close is because he got tired. Yeah, he did. That was a good hit. That was a great hit, yeah. Gets him an RBI. That's, look at him. That, I'm about to write a single. I can't give that guy a single That's on three all that chaos. Three bases. Three bases. How was tennis? I, we didn't – I don't know. I rode by. We were winning when I went by, uh, but I didn't stop. Senior night, I started out up there. That ball's flying out to left. Left fielder's oh. coming in. I shortstop just back. Oh. Yeah, that was a good play by the shortstop. Well, that's Fowler, Mr. Gore. Oh, yeah. Gave that old fake move over there. Hey, that's my uh, – that's our ninth grade quarterback out there playing shortstop. Really? Tough. Yes, sir. Tanner Fowler. Yeah, good player. Good player. Tough. Tough as a new rope, Coach Foster. That's a, that's clever. Oh, he swings an outside pitch. This is 25. Here you go. You ready for this name? Fouché. 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 Is he from Lafayette, Got Louisiana? Got to be. Oh, one count, one out. Fouché's the batter. Searle sets and delivers. That's outside. Gets by oh, down. Oh. oh, no. Oh, now it breaks. I thought he was coming. I did too. It would have been a collision, too, I'm telling you. <laughs> Coach, uh, M- Matt Searles decided you got run over by Colin Ray one time. Did you? How long ago was and this? He, Colin Ray was a ninth grader. He was oh. a senior. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he tried to run over you. You ran over him. Oh. <laughs> oh, Colin Ray. Yeah. It's back when he had hair. Easy now. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go start that conversation up here. Oh, Colin. The Lady Chargers are at uh, Lake Comer tonight playing a district matchup. I go. heard we looked good earlier in this we week. So we did. It's going to be a good one. All right, Searle set and delivered. That Ooh. almost did it get him. Look, if they don't try to get out of the way, is there a rule about that? I mean, um, they sit there and eat If, like if you're over the plate, you you got to. Okay. But you, you, if you turn, they'll, they'll pretty much give it to you. You can't okay. lean out into it. Right. If you stay still, you're all right. 3 1 count, one out. Searle's delivering. There you go, swing and miss. I just talked to Drew Clink. He seems like he's ready to roll. Oh, he is. Yeah. Calm, cool, and collected. He said, you know, he started getting his mind right last night before he went to bed, and he's just woke up this morning feeling dangerous. <laughs> Baker Mayfield now. <laughs> I like that. Strike. I added there the dangerous go. part, but he said he felt good. Yeah. yeah. His last outing, he, he he did a really good job. And then, did you, did you watch it the other night? Didn't you text me or something? I did, what, yeah. That's right. Yeah. He, um. Jude had a wonderful game. He ran into a little yeah. little trouble late, but he got out of it. How about the Ed Bats deep in that game? Was that not awesome? Rimmer and those guys. Oh, God. Uh, yeah. yeah. Rimmer, Rimmer got that count. He was from 02, got it back full. He was fouling pitches off. Right. And, you know, getting fired up by the walk. You know, that's, I mean, that's it, big time. the game. That's yeah. right. Oh, that's shoot right. you. Shoot you. And then Hopper walked. It was, you know. We got Coach Cox out on the mound right now. He's not going to talk him to death. <laughs> He's a man of few words, and I like that now because we got way too many people to talk too much, including myself. And he talks. You better listen. That's right. You know, a lot of folks just talk until they think of something to say. Have you, you know anybody like that? Mm-mm. Never. Yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah. 
ever. I know a guy. Yeah. yeah. And you know what's bad when I go home? I don't say anything. <laughs> well, you ought to be <laughs> tired. <laughs> tired of talking all day. Really horse every night when you go to sleep. <laughs> You get my my six year old, my eleven year old, and my wife all in the same room, and it's like playing tennis in there with them, yeah. just yapping. Oh, I, I bet. Hold me. How the boys doing? Mine? Yeah. Do they're they in ever, they're in your hometown of Greenwood over playing they're, soccer. They're, they're playing soccer. Football. Yeah. Football. Yeah. With the, with the U. Uh oh. Bring it in, Renfro. Hold on. We're just gonna keep going. We don't need sponsorships, do we? You're the boss. You sure? Boston. Harlow's Law Firm. All right, tell we got some time now. Tell us more about what's going on in football. Look, just couldn't be more proud about where we are. Uh, you know, the kids are working hard. I'm telling you, it's just a lot of fun. We've got spring ball starting April the 16th. Uh, it'll be over on the game field, and there, all of our practices are open. If anybody wants to come watch practice or anything, you can sit in the stands and, and watch us after school. Uh, but we'll go Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday that first week, and then Monday through Thursday for the next three weeks. And uh, that's going to kind of culminate with the spring game. At Kosciuszko on May the 9th, 7 p.m. Whippets. The Whippets. That's right. So uh, we're going to go over there and, and play a little jamboree with those guys. They get, I think, four or five other teams coming, and we're the – Oh, it's a jamboree. It's a jamboree, but we're the primetime game. We're the 7 o'clock game. So uh, they'll start earlier that afternoon and kind of go all evening. And we got the Whippet. We're playing Kosciuszko, We're playing Kosciuszko. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So we're excited about that. You know, we've got uh, several kids out here playing baseball. Oh, which yeah. is, uh, you know, of course I like baseball, but I love coming out and watching our kids compete. And, uh, we're hoping we don't see those kids this spring and you know, make a deep playoff run in baseball. And so it's going to open up a lot of opportunity for some other guys uh, to get a lot of reps this spring. We're excited about that. Yeah. That's, spring football is fun football. It is. You can, you can see what people can do. Cause, you That's know, right. and, and a lot, you're always going to get surprised by somebody. That's right. It gets out there the year good before. Good and bad. That's right. Hopefully more good than bad. That's right. For sure. All right, Renfro's a lefty. We got a first and third situation out here. Nelson Downs goes out, gives the sign, claps his, or slaps his mitt. It's one out. We're nope. in the – is it one out? That's what it says. Yeah. Yeah. You got a 4-1 lead for the Tigers. And that ball is lined oh, sharply at second. Got double him up, and we got out of there. Yeah, yeah, one pitch, double play. You're getting excited yeah. over there, aren't you? Hey, this Renfro kid's pretty good. One pitch, two outs. Yeah. We oh, always neighbor. pitch him more often. <laughs> <laughs> he does pitch a lot. Oh, okay. He's giving it away. Okay. All right. All right, with that, uh, we're going to hear a few words from our sponsors. I'm Robbie. And I'm Paul. And we're here at Wine on a Tractor and Equipment. Well, guys, with spring approaching, we have golf coming up and ball tournaments coming up. These guys can enjoy every bit of that. Yeah. Every bit of it, knowing that their wife is home comfortably mowing on a Kubota Zero turn. Right here, baby. If you really love her uh, and you want to make it easy on her, after yeah. she's been mowing all day comfortably yeah. on a Kubota Zero turn, yeah. Get on any of our Kubota RTVs and haul the weed eater and gas down there to her so she ain't got to walk to get it. Paul, that is an excellent idea. Why didn't I think of that? Kubota offers 0% financing on all models. We can get that payment just right for you where you'll have enough money left over at the end of the week to take her out for all her hard work. Well, folks, when you think about a tractor for your wife, remember, think why not on a tractor and equipment. All right, we're back, back with you. Renfro's your batter. It's the bottom of the fourth. Uh, it's four to one. Tigers, bad guys. Reynolds is still pitching. Renfro flied out to the left. Nice chopped third. Fields throws across, gets him. Notice he throws left and bats right. Doesn't happen a whole lot, does it? Throws left and bats right. Didn't he? Yeah, oh yeah. 
Yeah, that's right. I, yeah. It's going to bring up Patton. One down in the fourth. We got Coach Fair with us. He's He came in here and, and ran Mr. Lee out. I think Mr. Lee needed a break. Yeah, you sit by me more than 15 minutes. That's why Searle, he, he's way down there today. Yeah. 0 1 count. This is uh, Keaton Patton. Singled. There's Ooh. another single. Maybe get through there. Ah, nice diving catch. Yeah. And the Saltilla Tiger fans go crazy. Is this picture of the coach's son? Do we know well, that? That's what we were guessing. They kind of look the same size almost. Okay. Big kid, yeah. It's going to bring up down, so that's two quick outs for the Tigers. That's what they're needing. That's not what we're wanting. It's one of these, does Nelson play football? Nelson Downs plays a little guard for us this past mm -hmm. year. Pulling guard. Hey, let me tell you something. Hey, that's a tough little rascal right there. Got an older brother, Preston, that played center for us. Playoff state championship yep. week. That's right. His dad, Chris, played football with me back years ago. No. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know that. This is a, this is a ball. Carroll ball. County. Ball in a little family right here. Oh, man. yeah. 1-1 one, one count, two outs. Downs is the hitter. Swings and misses. He's down there eating. Who's that? Mr. Lee. He didn't even bring you anything. How much? You're a big guy. You know Fair's hungry. What does this job pay that I'm doing right a here? A cheeseburger? <laughs> I'll take it. I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one, two count on downs. There's a breaking ball. That's inside. Going even to count up at 2-2. Two, two. two outs. Chargers hadn't scored since the first. We've had some runners on the base pass. Couldn't get them home. I'm asking for time. He's digging in right now. <laughs> Reynolds sets and delivers curveball. Oh, Whoa, he swung late. Yeah. yeah. Got fooled. And fooled on the curl. Well, he swung. Well, that was in the mitt. Swatted at it. Yeah. It happens. All right, with that, that's going to win the fourth. It's 4-1 visiting Saltilla Salt Tigers. On top of your home Grenada Chargers. With that, we're going to have a few words from our sponsors. There are times in life we find ourselves in need. We call upon the help of our closest friends and family. As your local Farm Bureau insurance agent, I want to be on that list. I'm from right here in Grenada, and I'm here to help you and your family during your time of need. My name is Matt McCroy. Give me a call today at 662-418-5897 for a quick auto, home, or life insurance quote and to find out more about how we at Farm Bureau Insurance can help save you time and money. Go Chargers! For over 20 years, Oil Man Supply has proudly served the Grenada community and the South with its lubricants and automotive supplies. We provide services for all your agricultural, commercial, industrial, and residential needs. We pride ourselves in customer service and delivery. For more information on how we can help you, call Rick Palmer at 662-417-1586 or come visit our warehouse at 31 Tuscoma Street in Hawkeye. Go Chargers! They were all right every once in a while. All right, so that's going to bring us back to the uh, junior varsity game. We're starting at the uh, top of the fifth. Renfro replaced Searle. I think Searle went maybe three and a third. Carson came in with runners on first and third last inning and immediately got a double play, Coach Fair. Yeah. If he gets a double play on this one, I'll be really shocked. Yes, it'll be hard to do. 
Not impossible. Right back at us. Don't jump out of the way. We got a net in front of us. <laughs> got it. Not impossible. <laughs> I'd like to see it. <laughs> it's going to be tricky. Cam. Yeah. Comes Cam getting the foul ball. I'm going to tell you what. Cam doesn't look like he needs to be on an episode of Yellowstone. I don't know who does with that jacket. I He's love that jacket. Fur around his neck. Yep. Oh, that ball's lifted out to right. Hey, you better back, get back, back, back there. Back. That's off the wall. It's a nice hit right, right there. Right under the 350. They're going to hold Walker. him up at second. Let's see, who was that? Glad that didn't happen last inning. So that was Glidewell. Glidewell has reached on an error and now doubled. Yeah. Good day for Mr. Glidewell. That's a legit double, too, Coach. I mean, oh, that yeah. was a gapper. Yeah, got it over his head. Who's out and left over there? Somebody help me out, Matt. Arbuckle. Mr. Arbuckle. And right. Yeah, left the other way, Chip. Whoop. Man, you get me confused. Just drop it. Sheffield's your batter. That's a strike. Good pitch right there. I like the eye black on these kids we got, too. Yeah, they look, Foster. That's what we, we're, I made the comment that they look like Blake Braveheart. You ever seen that movie? Oh, Freedom. Yeah, yeah I'm freedom. all about it. Renfro gets ahead here in the top of the fifth. 0-1 count. Run on second. There's a good breaking ball. We could line these guys up on the foul line and just run at each other. <laughs> With the bats? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if Dr. Williams would be excited about that. Oh, yeah, I know it'd be some liability involved. Yeah, just a little bit. All right. If this guy throws anything but a breaking ball right here, I'll be shocked. What do you think, Coach? Yeah, he, he that last one was a good pitch, wasn't it? Yeah, he may come a little high and tight with a fastball right here. Got a runner on second. That's Glidewell. Sheffield, number 32, is your batter. Renfro. Looks back at second twice, sets and delivers. Oh, Outside fastball. Ring guy. him up. Ring him up, bro. That's it. That pitch may be a little bit outside, but he's been calling it all game. So. Let me tell you something. Anything in between those batter's boxes is close enough in this game. That's right. All right, so that's the first out of the inning. That's going to bring up Carnathan, school board member's nephew. Really? Yep. Oh, that's great. Yep. Uh, we got one out. Glidewell's still at second. Renfro. And there's whips. that curl yeah. ball. He's whipping. <laughs> curl ball? Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Good old curl ball. <laughs> I like that. Bat catcher. Yeah. Bat catcher. You did a great job of, of <laughs> I can't tell. When I was a bat catcher in Church Lake softball, I just leaned against the fence <laughs> back here. He did awesome, didn't he? <laughs> yeah. That's where it was going to end up anyway. It's just another. pick it up off the fence and throw it back. That's another good cur curve ball by Renfro. He gets ahead 0-2 and one out. Let's leave Glidewell out there at second. Mr. Cornithan yeah. struck out earlier in the inning. That was a yep. Same pitch. All right. Fast so ball outside. Got to look out. That foul ball is sponsored by Sparklight, formerly Cable One. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they get a lot of my money every month. Yep. That internet, got to have it. Yeah. Yep, spark light. Do a good job. Yep, 0-2 count, one out. Oh, there it man. is. Bend it in there, Beckham. That's <laughs> it, baby. <laughs> Bend it in there, Beckham. Did you see that ball where it started and where yeah, it ended? It was way out there, and it yeah. came way back in. I wouldn't want to be trying to hit it. Mm -mm. Heck no. Two outs, Coach Foster. It is two outs. We're going to leave, hopefully leave uh, Mr. Glidewell on second after that, that double he hit out there. Here's another one. Look here. A little bit low. Ah, yeah. Come on, man. That's a good pitch. This is P, number 28. How do you spell that, Coach? P-E-A or P-E-E? -E? Not sure. P-E-E, -E, P. Okay. All right. 1-0 count, two outs. Top of the fifth. This will be the last inning of this junior varsity game. That's high and tight. I love it. Do we go off innings or time on this thing? Uh, it's time, but I'm sure we're getting close to the time. Yeah. I try not to look at my clock very often while I'm doing this because that's all Searle does is text and look at his clock. His clock or his, his phone? Oh, phone clock. His phone. Phone clock. Mr. Yeah. Lee does it much better. He's more into it. That's low and inside. Two, three oh count. How did I get a strike over here? You're not paying attention. Coach. That's right. I was looking at my clock on my phone. That's right. That's right. That's big old, yeah. It's a big at bat here. We're within three. That's right. Get this guy out, 3-0. Got a base open. Two outs. And throw sets and delivers. Oh, that's a little bit up, but he's going to call it a strike. Oh, yeah. Old P standing about 6-1. That might have been in there. Yeah. 28. Uh-oh. Technical difficulties up there. 
You got some uh, zoned antenna in. issues. 3-1 count, two outs. Glidewell on second. It's been there for a while. There's yeah, that breaking ball. It's hitting down. down. It. Yep, Tanner's going to stay down. Look at here. Got him. Got nice him. Play. Easy. He's Easy smooth. Peasy. Smooth. So were you? did you just get here a while ago when you walked in? I was here a few minutes before that. He made a backhand play. I saw it. Yeah, oh, yeah. Good play. Yeah. All right, with that, that the third out, that's going to end the top of the fifth. The Saltilla Tigers are hit 4-1. And now we're going to take a few words from our sponsors. All right, we're back with you. Our Chargers, this junior varsity matchup, are down four to one. Bottom of the fifth. I got coach foot, uh, coach football oh, coach Michael gracious. Fair with us. He got me up here. So, wow! Whoa, whoa. Look out, Terry. That's one of those Bob Buecher pitches right there. <laughs> Just a pit inside. Inside. That was way yeah. out there, wasn't it? Yeah. Remember when John Crook? When Randy Johnson threw that behind him yeah. in the All-Star game, turned his bat and helmet around yeah. and got on the other side. Got back boy. in the corner of the box. <laughs> scared to death. you talking about a rough group of people. Was that oh, Phillies yeah. team, him and Lenny Dykstra. Oh, and, have you seen Lenny Dykstra lately? Oh, man. He's, he's, he lived hard, didn't he? Whoa, yeah, that's a fly a, ball hit out the left. Fly ball to left, yeah. Man, he did. It's tough looking at people like that. Yep. Be worse one day, I hope. But well, we live long enough to look like it. Yeah. I think he did a bunch of stuff that's made him look yeah. a bit more yeah, aged than us. Probably aged faster than most. Yeah. Hey, it's Miles Ross. He's a DB for our football team. Is he? Yes, sir. Ashton was a receiver. Mm -hmm. Obviously, Miles is a better athlete because he's playing defense. That's where your athletes play. Yeah, worse hands for sure. Oh, man. Wow. You know, your old boy uh, from Carroll County is getting some wows yeah, up here. He's smelling the chicken, boys. I mean, you know, it's to that point where you got chicken nuggets on deck and yeah. he knows that. Swings and misses. Chicken nuggets. They're not going to feed him after they call. Yeah, He's going to have to pay for it. 0-2. Oh, One out. Reynolds has oh, pitched the whole game. Put in play right here, Miles. Yeah. There's a there it ball. is. Run it Chops it. Oh, yeah. There you go. That's it. Look at him. Gave, he gave himself a chance. Uh -oh. oh, and twist his ankle trying to round first base. I think it's an ankle. Looks like he's okay. Just shook off a little help over there. Oh, Upper Newcomb, yeah. 29. He's going back to the top of the order. Newcomb's attacked the first pitch in both of his at-bats. He's grounded out the third and flied out the left. So that was – who was that, Miles? That was Miles, yeah. Okay. Let's put him in here. All right, so we're in the bottom of the fifth. Reynolds has gone the whole game. He hits one oh. weakly to the pincher. There's going to be one. Oh, my. High throw, and he gets the tag. Catches it and gets the tag on Miles. So that'll be. We're down to our last out here, Coach Foster. We are, I think. I would. Well, maybe not. Yeah. It's going to bring up Fowler. He's reached both plate appearances. Shortstop slash quarterback here. That's right. Newcomb's on first. 
That ball's flying out to right, and right, right fielder field. was hugging. He's not near the line. He's under it. Yeah, he's under. He makes the play. I believe that's probably going to end this game. You got any parting words? Well, I just want to say I've enjoyed this, and I just feel like, uh, you know, that uh, being able to do this is just such an honor because I've been listening to you all online, and this is a this is a big-time setup up here now. I yeah. mean, this is – this is uh, – a lot going on up here behind the scenes that people don't realize. And yeah. we all get to sit at home in our living rooms and watch these road games and all this. And I've really enjoyed it. And come up here and visit with y'all today. It's been a lot of fun. Yeah, well, i tell you what. I don't do a whole lot of that stuff. That's the, the other these dudes. Well, i tell you what you Lee. do a great job of, coaches. You feel dead air. <laughs> There's always something to be said. <laughs> and I think it's good Describing stuff. my life. <laughs> I appreciate that. Dead air. Yeah, don't yeah. tell my wife. No, no she knows by now. No, <laughs> yeah, no. Well, look, that's going to conclude our JV game. We got beat four to one. Uh, we'll be back, I believe, probably around six forty-five, six fifty for the varsity game. We're going to have a, another humdinger like we had the other night. Good hey, game. I enjoyed it, guys. Yep. that was fun. Go Good Chargers. having you up here, Appreciate Coach. Appreciate you, Fair. Coach. Thank you. All right, come back with us. Uh, that'll conclude the junior varsity.